So what we have in this problem are two charged particles. One is an electron, which obviously carries a negative charge, and the other is a positron, which carries a positive charge, but the value of the charge is same as that on the electron, which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. What's also given is the mass of these charges, which is again equal and it is equal to 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. So the question is very interesting. They want us to find what is the ratio of electrostatic force between these two charged particles to the gravitational force. So let's go ahead and find first what is the electrostatic force. And we know that the electrostatic force between these two particles can be given as equal to K into the charge minus E into plus E, which would be E square. And since we have to find the ratio, let's ignore the value of the charge, but Q1 and Q2 value would be E and E again, and therefore we're getting an E square in the numerator divided by the distance between the particles. And let us say it is R, and let's go ahead and square it. We also know that the gravitational force between the two particles would equal to g into mass of first particle into the mass of the second particle. And since both the masses are equal, we'll go ahead and square this and again divide by the square of the distance between the two particles. So let's go ahead and divide the right hand side also. And what we get as a consequence is that if e upon f g is nothing but equal to k e square or the square of the charges divided by g into square of the masses. Now we know that the value of k is 8.99 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square and the charge on an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and we'll go ahead and square this and we'll divide this entire thing by g which is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram into the square of the mass which is 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram and we'll square this term and when you simplify this what you get is fe upon fg or the ratio of electrostatic force between these two charged particles to the gravitational force equals 4.16 into 10 to the power 42. Now while the solution to the problem was not very difficult what is important is to observe that the electrostatic force between the two particles is significantly larger than the gravitational force on the particle. Or if you can write this as Fe is equal to 4.16 into 10 to the power 42 times Fg, what it says is that the electrostatic force is greater than the gravitational force by a factor of 10 to the power 42. So you would want to ponder the magnitude of electrostatic force can be significantly more than that of the gravitational force. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more interesting videos.